Hey guys, I'm here with Francois, who is a serial entrepreneur, international speaker, a husband and a father. Francois, you do a lot of things. That's a, that's a long job title to have, okay? So tell us a little bit about what does that mean to be a serial entrepreneur and international speaker? Well, serial entrepreneur, I wasn't always a serial entrepreneur. I'm actually a qualified CEO. Uh, so I was in the corporate world for uh, more than 12 years. I made, made the decision to resign. I uh, created this vision for myself to make a positive impact in people's life and, and leave a legacy of significance for, for my family and my children. Um, I bought a preschool that was my first business that, that I bought. I started with the Intelligent Millionaires Network where we help entrepreneurs and business owners to grow their business. You know, you talked about a lot of sort of um, businesses that you're involved with now and sort of how you made that leap from being in the corporate world and now sort of being your own boss. Yes. Okay, so Francois, I want to go way back in your journey and I want to take you back to your childhood, in particular those awkward teenage years. Yes. I was very fortunate. Um, I don't have a, a rag to riches story. Um, I was very, very fortunate that my parents brought me up um, teaching me about money, about business, about entrepreneurship from a young age. Uh, parent, or people say, yeah, but he's a born entrepreneur or something like that. I said, no, it's not. Because you don't look at a baby and say, well, uh, ah, look at that cute entrepreneur there. <laughs> being an entrepreneur, being a business owner is all about skills that you, that you learn. So my first first introduction to money was pocket money from my dad. But then my first job was uh, going to the local rugby club um, seeing that uh, there's no one operating the scoreboard. So seeing that problem, I went to the to the club owner and said, listen, yeah, I'll come on a Saturday. So I'll problem operate solver. It. So Sol problem sol solving problems already age of 13. Exactly. Okay. And my first paycheck okay, let's was a time. massive amount. Go on, of let's hear Five it. rand. Wow. You know what I spent <laughs> it on? Go a on hamburger it. and a <laughs> can of Coke. <laughs> <laughs> One mistake that I that I made was was not keeping good relationships with people. Um, life is on a gradient scale, so you can't go from year to year in an instant. And I think it's our responsibility exactly to go and share that message. Yeah. As kids, mm -hmm. um, we don't have experience. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't have all the resources. All that we have um, as kids and as uh, as teenagers yes. is time. And um, the more skills you learn throughout your life, mm -hmm. um, the better you'll be. And that will determine the level of your success. I'm so excited to be part of uh, Future Made Simple. Um, I think it's a great initiative. Um, speaking to the parents, speaking to the teenagers, giving them guidance. Here's the thing. Uh, Here's the thing, guys. Okay, I bet you want to now know where when you've done something, where you've cut somebody out of your life, and things are not going well and you want to learn what are the tips and techniques that you need to know to turn around what are fragmented relationships here's the thing you need to come on the 28th of July to Watercliff High to learn Francois' story and learn about how he took that situation and turned it to his advantage. Yeah, and I'm looking so forward to sharing that with you, uh, speaking to you, speaking to you as parents, speaking to you as, as, as teenagers there. And um, come through, come meet me, come meet to VR. It's going to be an amazing evening. I'm so looking forward to that. Uh, I can't wait. Awesome. So, guys, till next time, you got this.